Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Chef Pam and this is Cooking with Chef and More. We are getting ready to make meatloaf, all American comfort food, guys. Yes, meatloaf. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, just keep watching, guys, because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Welcome back. We're going to get started by chopping up our onions. After that, let's chop up our green peppers. Then we're going to bring out our cast iron skillet, two tablespoons full of butter, melted, add in your veggies to saute. This meatloaf is going to be awesome. Just keep stirring and saute until the onions are translucent and the green peppers have softened. Then add them to your 80-20 ground beef. Next we're going to start seasoning, sprinkling in onion powder, garlic powder, sea salt, black pepper, hickory bacon salt, ketchup. We're going to put in one egg for binding as well as some Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know what I mean, sauce. Put in your breadcrumbs. Add two tablespoons of mayo. Yes, guys, mayo. Then we're going to add some sasson in. The whole packet will do just fine and a cup of milk. You want to stir this mixture until it is well combined. Just like this, guys. Keep mixing until it's really good and everything is combined. Now we're going to set this aside and make our sauce starting with a little brown sugar, bubbling brown sugar. To that we're going to add ketchup and a little apple cider vinegar. Stir that until it starts to become smooth. Then we're going to put in just a couple of shakes of that Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know what I mean, sauce. Stir that until it is smooth and creamy. Okay guys, spray your pan. This is a 9 by 13 inch baking dish and pour that sauce into the bottom of the pan. You want to spread it all over the bottom of the pan, guys. This sauce is amazing. Then put in your meatloaf mixture right on top of the sauce. Be careful, you don't want to splatter it. Now we're going to just take our hands and gently form it into a meatloaf. And guys, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and take a moment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments. Share it out, guys. Once we've got our meatloaf form, we're going to go ahead and put it in a 375 degree oven. It's been cooking for about 40 minutes, guys. Look at that sauce. Oh my goodness. Now we're going to take the other half of the sauce we made, pour it right on top. We're going to cook this for maybe about another five to eight minutes and let this sauce get nice and set. Oh my goodness, if you could smell this sauce. Mmm, mmm. Make sure you spread it evenly over the top of the meatloaf. All made from scratch, guys. Our meatloaf is done. Now I'm going to take a nice slice out of it so you can take a look. But first, let's just garnish the top with a little bit of parsley. Look at that sauce, guys. Doesn't that look nice and thick and creamy? Okay, guys, let's take a look at the inside. It should be nice and juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Mm. If you could just smell the sauce, it is so tempting to just go ahead and dive right in. Look at that, guys. Nice and moist. Let's go ahead for our taste test. Okay guys, we are all done with our meatloaf, so let's give it a taste test. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Doesn't that look amazing? Yes. Mm. Delicious. And the sauce, guys, is amazing. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me in my kitchen today. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and scribe, 
subscribe <laughs> and turn on that notification bell so you'll always get my recipes. To all my subscribers, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Mm. 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 And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creep don't rise. Mm -mm 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 -mm.